Well, all right. <laughs> Take it off the shirt. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Well, you're going to get Carly and uh, Fran excited. <laughs> I did get accepted a talent agent. But no, fear is the number one source of regret. If there's any way to beat all these bad people that Alex Jones about, if there's any way to succeed as an entrepreneur, if there's any way to succeed doing whatever you want to do, even if you're not, even if you're just random Joe Schmo tuning into this because you got tired of cat videos, because there's all many, so many cats and heavy metal and goofy things you can put. <laughs> just, if, you, if you've got a confidence issue, just watch for the YouTube videos for a few hours. Yeah, that's you, really it. You'll get your confidence back. Because <clears throat> you realize that, you, you know. Ha you you should sure have a positive attitude. We do best for you. Yes. <laughs> I'll tell you what gave me a lot of confidence. Chris knows this guy. I've seen this video. There's this video vlogger, and uh, he plays video games. He does a bunch of also things on helping with prevention of, like, bad diseases and suicide. His name's Boogie, and he's just, like, this big crazy dude, and he just put his camera up there and said, I'm going to make a YouTube channel when he had nothing. He was just living in an old house, an old bed, and they're like, why don't you just give up? He's like, I'm going to keep going. And he has the crazy ideas to literally take an Xbox, throw it outside, and then start smashing it on one of his videos. And then he looks at his neighbors. He looks at his neighbors in the video, and he's like, you want some? <laughs> and he's got like four or three million subscribers, man. So, yeah. And he'll, like, drink Mountain Dew and eat nachos and, like, rage about World of Warcraft. Um and there was this game out called Diablo, and then it was having server issues, and he's like, Air 37, Air 37, just like that. And he's hitting himself on the head with the game uh -huh. case, and I'm like, if he can do all this, I can get on the camera and inspire entrepreneurs. I don't have to be as crazy. Sorry. Stupid at yourself. <laughs> <laughs> but it's more than that, because here's the thing I like about Boogie. PewDiePie and some of these guys are just like, ah! all the time. And eventually, after five, ten minutes, I'm like, okay, I get it. You know, you need yeah. Ritalin or you need to chill down. Sugar is bad. But Boogie will actually do some of those crazy videos, and then he'll do some really, really meaningful speeches about life and motivation and how he came from where and his weight loss. And then that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to do the motivational stuff and be a crazy person. And not only that, do unlike the other people, educate someone so they can see this and say there's hope. There's hope to get past my 9 to 5. There's hope to do what I want. And I can have fun while doing it. And there's hope to get past my 9 to 5 so I don't climb a clock tower and start picking people off. Yes. But fear is the number one regret. The, the, if I could say my biggest regret is I didn't start what I was doing sooner. That's it. And because it was all because of fear. So if you get the big F word, not that F word, if you get the fear out of the way, not only will it change you as an entrepreneur, it'll change the world because as far as I'm concerned. You'll get there faster. Yeah, you'll get there faster and you won't be ruled by these, you know, crazy dudes that Alex Jones and rah, rah, rah. Yeah. Well, right. I awesome. thought being a senior citizen, I was out of touch with the modern day and age. And I was invited out for Halloween just to go to a party. And we did go because we heard that there was some activity at the party where people were breaking crazy. But one of the other ladies that I was going to go with, her daughter said, come on, you and you and Fran, I'm going to take you out for Halloween. So she said, what can I dress up as? I said, put a lot of makeup on and go as a hooker. I'm going as an <laughs> old lady. And she said, uh, maybe I can even get a DD. And the other lady that was going with us, he said, why do you want to go to Dunkin' Donuts for Halloween? I said, I, I looked at her daughter. I said, she didn't just say that. 
She said, Mom, what do you mean a D.D. Dunkin' Donuts? I said, uh, and she's my nurse. I said, D.D. stands for Designated Driver. Ah, uh, yes. And I said, Dunkin' Donuts has nothing to do with Halloween. And that's, and that's me thinking it was cup size. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I thought I was the out-of-touch senior citizen. Oh, awesome. Yeah, I mean, just don't be afraid to get out, do what you want to do. I'm not. I don't care if people hate our content. Go ahead. We're going to make it. You can put your thought, give your dislikes and give your negative comments. So we're actually going to start doing... Uh, well, not everyone's, everyone's going to like what you do. Oh, I don't care, but we're going to start a whole video series calling these people out, too. It's going to be fun. We're going to be reading negative comments and just laughing our butts off about it. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, I only live once. I went skydiving, scuba diving, and drag racing. And Nine. that was, uh, let's see, before well, 1984 well, when I was diagnosed <laughs> with... Uh, say that again, Jay. All in one day. All in one day. Uh, no, but I would have I would have done it all in one day. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, go for it. I went parasailing three years ago, nice. four years ago. Time flies when you're having fun. But, you know, my mother said, do you have an in insane urge to commit suicide? I said, no, I got an insane urge to live and the only way you're going to get out of this world is to die, and I don't know if anybody got out of it any other way. I'm going to enjoy the hell out of it while I'm here. I love it. See, that's the biggest thing for me was once I got past the fear, I said, wow, there's a whole world. I could go here. I can do what I want. I can try new experiences. Maybe I will skydive. Maybe I'll go on some of those crazy roller coasters because, hey, yeah, I might get scared. I might get an adrenaline rush, but it's an experience, and as far as I'm concerned, the fear the only thing fear is going to do is limit my experiences. Can't have that happening. No. Whatever. There it, you go. Yeah. Yep. The only thing to fear is fear itself. And spiders. I love spiders. I'm not scared of them. That's why I have to. And carrot top. Carrot top's pretty scary. If it slithers faster than I do or has more legs than I've got and can move faster than I get, the thing's going to die. Aww. <laughs> oh. Anyway, uh, I want to thank everybody for being here tonight. We're going to wrap it up. It is quarter to eight my time, and I've got to uh, get some sleep, and uh, we'll see you guys next week. Yeah, I just want to uh, thank Jay. Please come back. Did you have yes. fun, mate? For the summer, so yeah, I'll come back. I'll come back. Don't worry. Yeah, Good. bring all your downliner people. Oh. I want to see a million people in Zoom, and then you crash the application. I'm like, Jay, what are you doing? He's like, I just brought my downline with me. It's only five million. There you go. I put, yeah. an, I put an announcement in the website. <laughs> all right. Hey. Oh yeah, thank you. Yeah, and definitely, you know, every. I don't know what time it is in England time uh, in uh, your time it's right six now. Six hours ahead of us, so it'd be Qu quarter to one. Quarter to one, yeah. Yeah, Five quarter to one power hour, and then I'll get the me and Chris will get the topic up. We'll give you a video, and yeah, I want to thank Francis, Jay. Thanks so much for coming, Carly, Micah, Bill. Uh, I'm gonna yeah. Lester. You know, is in our thoughts, and Josh Bendowski <laughs> will be back. So. Definitely. You Dan Sissick, brother. Dan Sissick. I, I was getting to it. I'm getting okay, to it. And, and you know me. I gotta keep bugging you, man. I gotta keep you on your toes, bro. <laughs> Dan you Sissick. You're yawning at quarter to eight, Damien. Yes, it's quarter to eight. I am. Yeah, I've been up since uh, five thirty, buddy. All right. So yeah, right. Ten, ten harsh lessons, and that will make you more successful. Yeah, it's it's just that simple. And just to go through them real quickly. It's what we talked about to recap, if that's cool with everybody. The yeah, first step it. is always the hardest, so get past that first step. Good things take time. You won't get a million subscribers in a day or a million people to your website, but it will happen if you work at it consistently. Yes. Being busy does not equal being productive. I 
used to be on YouTube and Facebook in college. So let's just say that. And my GPA is not as high as I want it to be. <laughs> <laughs> you always have less control than you want. There, there's times where my hosting company, you know, might break something or I might be working on a project and I might use the wrong SQL statement like I've been trying now and break everything. And sometimes I don't have the control like, oh, I want to fix everything now. It doesn't happen. You're only as good as those you associate with. That's why I'm on the power hour. Your biggest problems are mental because even if it is something physical that's happening, chances are you can fix it by changing your perception and changing how you're going to fix it. And that doesn't, I don't mean that in the law of attraction way. I mean that as changing your thinking on how am I going to approach this problem and work to solve it by taking action like crazy. Your self-worth must come from within. If I don't have worth to get on here and do what I'm doing here, then there's no way anybody else can see that worth within me or find worth within them if they don't, or give it to others if they don't have it within. Not everyone will support you. I think that's just common sense, actually, for anyone doing a business. Perfection does not exist because there's always tweaks you can do to make better, but take action to launch whatever it is you're doing or at least get started. Don't worry about being perfect. Last thing, fear is the number one source of regret. So entrepreneurs out there, get over your fears, learn these 10 harsh lessons, and we'll see you next time. This is Kareem and Chris from the Power Hour, signing off. Cheers.